subscribe if you think I'm beautiful. Hey kid, this Halloween is going to the dogs. Wait, are you saying that because there are dogs on the cover? Well, that would make sense. Or, or are you saying it because I can see that the dogs down here are making fun of the dogs up there? Is that why? Ding, ding, ding! You are correct, dog! And me too. I mean, and yes, technically Green Bear is also correct because everything is going to the dogs, which means it's not going well because Halloween or, well, you know what? Just take a look for yourself. I am looking. What do you see on Halloweener's face? I see sadness. I see frustration. And what do you see on the other dogs' faces? Oh, I can tell that they are laughing at being mean. Bad dog, bad dog. And what do we suspect that Halloweener is gonna do about it? Cry? Fight? Or maybe there's Another option. The way she said that makes me think there's another option. Yeah, me too. Let's see how Halloweener reacts. Will the night end with tricks or treats? Let's go. Halloweener, 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 Halloweener. There once was a dog named Oscar, who was half a dog tall and one and a half dogs long. That is a very accurate description. And that hot dog-like shape is exactly why they are nicknamed wiener dogs. But the official name of that dog breed is Dachshund. The shoe! No, I mean, I know it looks like that, but it's Dachshund. I, I was sneezing. Oh, get on tight. You know, I just realized I may be a wiener pickle the shoe. Bless you. Oh, because look, we're we're like the same. I mean, while I see what you're getting at, I don't think you're actually related, Dill. I don't know. I think the similarity is pretty strong. Hmm. Dills and Dachshund. Look at that, I was about to change the page, but look! <sighs> Cats up there. Already, they too look like they're also up to no good. Because of his unusual shape and size, all the other dogs made fun of him. Wiener dog, wiener dog, they called him, and Oscar did not like it one bit. Because it's one thing to have a cute nickname, it's an altogether different thing to have it used to mock you. Bad dog, bad dog! Sad dog, sad dog. Oscar's mother was no help either. Oh, Mrs. Myers, which means our little guy is named Oscar Myers. Every morning, when the dogs walked off to obedience school, Oscar's mother stood out in the front yard, waving and calling out, Farewell, my little Vienna sausage! Farewell! Oh, ma! And the other dogs laughed and laughed and laughed. Bad dog! Bad cat! Is he crying yet? So far, no crying, no fighting. Okay. Most of the time, Oscar was upset by all of this teasing, but not today. Oh no, today was Halloween, and Oscar was thinking about other things. Look, he's got Halloween on his mind. All day long at obedience school, Oscar daydreamed about Halloween night, trick or treats, and scary costumes. Maybe he would go as a pumpkin. Maybe he would go as a ghost under the light of the moon. Meanwhile, at the front of the class, Mr. Gruff and McGruff here is writing lines on the classroom board. I will not sniff my neighbor. I will not sniff my neighbor. Somebody sniffed his neighbor. And oh, those cats just stalking these dogs. Meanwhile, the teacher, wearing a very sharp pumpkin scarf, is reading from a classic canine book. Dogs who hate fleas and the fleas who love them. Classic. When Oscar got home, he dashed upstairs to start working on his scary Halloween costume. Oh, look at the family portrait in threes. Adorable. But when he got to his room, a surprise was waiting for him. Happy Halloween, my little sausage link, said Oscar's mother. I've made you a costume to wear for trick or treats. Oh, she made him a costume. Oh, 
That is so much work. That is so amazing that she did that for him. And there's the box and she decorated it to Oscar love mom, happy Halloween. And Oscar's taking that first peek inside when Oscar saw the costume with his own eyes. He nearly fainted from happiness or from horror. Let's find out. Oh. <sighs> it was a giant hot dog bun, complete with <laughs> mustard. And guess who was supposed to fit in the middle? Dill! Oscar, Oscar, dash you! Bless you, thanks. Well, Oscar did not want to hurt his mother's feelings. After all, we know how much work she had to put into creating this bun, and the mustard must have been challenging. So he decided to wear the silly costume and is giving her a kiss and she's all like all sentimental about it. But even though he's kissing her, even though he's smiling for the camera, look at his eyes, they're sad. Beware of the smile that hides sad eyes. That night, all the dogs on the block gathered to show off their costumes and everyone was looking quite scary. I am Count Von Hound. I am Harry Wizard. I am a mummy mutt. I'm a dog catcher. It's ironic because I'm a dog. Then Oscar showed up looking quite Frank. Frank is another name for hot dog, and it's another name for honesty. Honestly, I think he's about to get roasted. Oh. When the dog saw Oscar in his silly costume, they howled with laughter. Oh, oh this is hilarious. Look at Oscar. They cried. He really is a wiener dog. Poor Oscar was so embarrassed, even though we only see his eyes. Oh, they say everything we need to know about his feelings right now. Wiener dog, wiener dog, laughed the other dogs as they ran off to go trick-or-treating. Oscar tried to keep up with the dogs, but his silly costume kept slowing him down. All night long, the other dogs hounded every treat they could get their paws on. <laughs> so by the time Oscar got to each house, there were no treats left. Sorry, buddy, my treats were ravaged by savages. <laughs> Soon, trick-or-treating was over, and the dogs walked home past a spooky graveyard that just happened to be there suddenly on the way home. Suddenly, a horrible hissing sound filled the air. The dogs stopped, woo, dead in their tracks, but first they had to jump, woo, from fright. Then, out of the graveyard, rose a ghastly monster, and the dogs screamed for their lives. Ah! They dropped their treats and jumped into a nearby pond, one after the other. But the monster didn't stop. It moved closer. Please don't eat us, cried the dogs. Rawr. But the monster yowled like this, yowl, and hissed like this, hiss. Boo hoo, sobbed the dogs. Boo hoo. -hoo. The monster jumped up and down, Rawr. and the dogs were shrieking, Somebody save us, save us. By the light of the most gigantic moon you have ever seen. Just then, somebody showed up. Ba -ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Who was it? Oh, yeah, you know who. It was Oscar. And because Oscar was so short, he 
saw something that the other dogs had not seen from their vantage point. That's no monster, cried Oscar, and with a loud bark, Oscar waddled to the rescue. Oscar chomped and tugged with all his might. Did you see what Oscar could see from way down there? Mm hmm. Do you see that? A tail, and I see paws, and, and you see by the light of the most gigantic moon ever, can you see the outline of the perpetrators? Aha! Rip! And there, standing in the moonlight of the most gigantic moon ever, were a couple of ornery cats. Meow! Meow! That's right, boys, the jig is up. Help! cried the cats. We're being attacked by a giant frankfurter. Meow! And they ran off screaming through the graveyard with mouths as big as the biggest moon you've ever seen. The dogs in the pond had seen the whole thing. That's right. And now it was their turn to be embarrassed. Oh, we've been chased into a pond by a couple of cats, they moaned. And if you are a dog, you know how embarrassing that is. But Oscar, <laughs> Oscar, did he make fun of them? It's an option. Did he just leave them there? Also an option. But he did not. Oscar was a true friend. He leaped into the water and swam out to the dogs. Oscar's silly costume, silly costume, made a wonderful life raft and the dogs climbed up. So the costume that they were mocking was suddenly their life raft, their rescue boat. Hmm. All aboard! Oscar called, and he dog paddled it back to shore. Woo, 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 woo. I know. Hero. When they got back to dry land, all the dogs shared their Halloween treats with Oscar because he earned it. And because Oscar had been so brave, the dogs changed his nickname from Wiener Dog to Hero Sandwich. And from that night on, nobody ever made fun of Oscar again. Because they realized that what made Oscar different is what made him special. That's what made him the big hero. And notice he never cried. No, not a single time. And he didn't fight. No, I guess he took the, the high road. That he did. He was, frankly, his best self. So then everyone had a happy Halloween! Happy Halloween! Happy Halloween! Gesundheit! And happy Halloween!